Hi. So this video is going to be about sustained sounds using the double knot version 3. I'm going to talk about the envelope generators. I'm going to talk about uh, these slew and VCA circuits. And I'm going to talk about the sync inputs on the oscillators. First of all, how do you make a sustained tone on the double knot? Well, you open the enveloper decay all the way up by turning these knobs fully counterclockwise. So the decay is as long as it can possibly be. So if I trigger the two envelopes and then I turn up the volume, we hear the two oscillators. So the decay is slowly you know, the enveloper output is slowly decaying, but it's really long. So you can use it like a sustained tone for some amount of time. You can also refresh it. You hear the volume jump up a little bit. If you're using these shift register sequencers at all, it will refill the capacitor in these circuits. You can use that like a sustained um, you can use that basically just like an open VCA. So I'm going to talk about now these two circuits, the SLU and VCA circuits, which you can choose the function of each of these circuits with these dip switches on the back. So I have a pair of tweezers here. And I'm going to flip this dip switch, the third one from the right, down or up. It's off. So it's off now, meaning that one of these circuits um, will be a SLU and one of them will be a VCA. So I can show the difference, um, the difference in that uh, function. And there's a list of what those dip switches do in the manual. First, I'll demonstrate the SLU. We'll plug the clock in. We'll get these oscillators sounding. Turn this all the way down. So that's the SLU. It takes the hard edges of a square wave and bends them out. It's it's uh, like a lag. There's also a, a um, control input here. So if we take a signal from the shift register, can enter some data here, and listen to that, and we see when this output is on, it's slewing. And when it's off, it's held. So this can act a little bit like a sample and hold or a track and hold. So if we try the same thing with this circuit, which is set to a VCA, there's no lag. It's just going to change the um, volume of that signal that's going into the input. So let's listen and see what that sounds like. So it's the clock gated by this output of the shift register. So if you plug something else in here, like the other oscillator, we get uh, gated FM. So the last thing I want to talk about is oscillator sync. Um, and then I'm going to make a patch using these things that I've talked about, using the SLU and using the uh, sustained envelopers and the sync. So this is the sync input that I just patched into on both of the oscillators. It's this port for each oscillator. 
And the most useful way to use this input is to patch a square wave of another oscillator into it. So you can sync one oscillator to another uh, within the double knot this way. So if we listen to both the oscillators, we hear one pitch. And if I change this, that one pitch changes. But if I change this oscillator, we get a timbral change. And now if I unpatch it, we get two pitches again. So what I want to talk about here is using this, which is a Tektronix CFG253 uh, function generator. So I have a, on here I have a BNC to banana converter, and I have the output set to be a five volt peak to peak square wave. The DC offset does not matter because the sync input is AC coupled. So wherever that signal is coming out of this uh, function generator, that DC offset will be um, removed. Um, so it's a five volt peak to peak square wave and I'm gonna plug it into this oscillator and I, I grounded the generator to the back ground jack here as well. So now when I turn up the volume, we're syncing to this oscillator. So we get a tempo change here. And we change the pitch here. And we can sync both oscillators to that input to get a sort of stereo. So now I'm going to make a patch, um, just kind of using this effect of the uh, syncing to the function generator. Um, so here we go. Uh, one more thing I wanted to show here is using the VCA to control the sync amount. So if I patch this 5 volt peak to peak square wave into the VCA input and I patch the output to the sync input, let's do that for both oscillators. Now let's listen. the way the sync sounds by running it first through a VCA 
and we can further affect that by using the slew with the input here. So that's a way to affect the amount of sync that's happening, and it can kind of jitter in and out of syncing. Hope you found that interesting and useful, and thanks for watching.